Hello, my name is Ben and on this YouTube channel I document my own print-on-demand journey. Today the second video of the series how to upload to Flying Upload. In my last video I showed you how you can upload to Zazzle with Flying Upload and today I'd like to show you how the upload process with um, works if you upload to Spreadshirt. Now it can be quite not difficult but you know it's like with everything that is new you have to understand it. So I decided to make um, a few videos about how you can upload with Flying Upload to each of the different platforms, the print on demand platforms, because for some platforms you have to select or create a template first. And I know it took me a couple of days to work it all out when I started in print on demand, even though it's not difficult, but you just need to gather all the information, which costs time. And today, you know, ideally, you don't want to spend time on that. You just want to create your designs and upload them. So I'm going to show you how to do that. This is Flying Upload, by the way. Um, there are two marketplaces for Spreadshirt that you can use, which is the, they, well, they call it the UK marketplace, but pretty much it is the um, European marketplace and then the .com marketplace. Um, by the way, if you upload um, in English to the UK marketplace, for example, it gets automatically translated into the different European marketplaces like Germany, and um, France or Spain. Now, before we can use Flying Upload for Spreadshirt, um, let's have a quick look in Settings. And in the Settings section, there are different, um, there are different, um, let's say, templates that you can select. So, for if you want to upload to Spreadshirt, you have to select a template. So, let's click on Spreadshirt. Now here you can set different um, templates. So what you need to do in Spreadshirt, um, when you, when, so Flying Upload will log in automatically to your account in Spreadshirt. And Flying Upload needs to know what kind of um, design or what kind of product, you know, which products do they need to upload to. So what you can do in Spreadshirt, and I'm going to show you how you do that, you have to create a template. Um, so you have to do the same if you upload manually to Spreadshirt because, for example, let's say you upload manually to Spreadshirt, you upload the design and then to make it quicker for you, you create a template. So that design will then always be shown on the same products and the same background colors. So let's say you create designs um, that are designed for, um, let's say, dark t-shirt colors or dark backgrounds, then ideally what you want to do, you will always if you create the same designs, the same type of designs, always for the same background colors, then you always wanna put them on the same products on Spreadshirt. So to make it easy, Spreadshirt um, created the possibility that you can create a template. So you just click on the name of that template then, and it will always automatically put them on this product. So you need you, you then need to tell um, Flying Upload which template to select. So let's go through the process step by step. Okay, so I'm now in Spreadshirt. So in Spreadshirt, um, before you actually start to use Flying Upload, you need to do at least one upload manually. And we will do this in, um, we're going to upload one design and I've downloaded this design, which is a 4,500 by 5,400 design. I've downloaded it from Creative Fabrica just for the purpose of this video and to show you how it works. So I'm going to click on that and then upload. Okay, so I've selected now a design. I've uploaded it to Spreadshirt, which you can do um, you, before you upload. As I said, you need to upload at least one design manually to Spreadshirt before you use Flying Upload. And what you do now when you click on this design then, because it's, you need to publish it. But in the process of publishing it, we are creating a template. And you can use this template in the future if you want to upload manually, but you can also use a template for Flying Upload. So what we're going to do now is creating a template for designs that are optimized for a dark background color, like a dark t-shirt. So the first thing that you do is you click on all available products, which will be, and you select all the products that will be available in your template. Okay, so whenever um, you then select this template in Flying Upload, Flying Upload will put the design onto all the different products that you have selected in this template. And this is the same if you continue, if you decide not to use Flying Upload, but you continue to upload manually, then again, you have to, um, 
you have to select, you can select a template, it makes it easier for you. Then you don't have to manually select all the products every time you upload. Now, what you can do to save time, you can select available colors, view products available in this color. So just black and you select only the products which are available in black color. But I wouldn't recommend to do this because there are some products like the man's vintage shirt, which doesn't have a black, only a washed black. Um, so I don't know if it will pick this up as well. It might do. Maybe because you only need to do this once, maybe go through them all one by one. Then you can familiarize yourself with all the products as well. And what I would do, I you can select all the products you want to put it to. I recommend you select a black color as default. So you go into every, for every product, you go into the color settings and select black. I would leave every product deselected, which only is available in a white or whitish color. Yeah, because if we have a design which is optimized for a dark background, you don't want to put it onto a white t-shirt. So, okay, so I won't do this for all the products now. I just want to show you how the process works. It is a bit time consuming, probably takes you 20 minutes, half an hour, um, if you're taking some time, but you only do need to do this once and then you can prepare flying upload and you can prepare this template. You can prepare it for flying upload to use it in the future. All right. Then you click done. What you do then, and you know, I would recommend that you go into every product now. You need to do this at this stage before you save it as a template. And then you adjust the design on the product. So you can make it very large, which is probably a bit too big, to be honest, for a t-shirt. Nobody wants a, such massive design on a shirt, but maybe they want. So I recommend just leave it somewhere like 70 percent -ish, you know, it's up to you. You could also have a different template for, for a design, which is, you know, you want to have it large. You have, can have a different template for, for different designs basically. But let's say that this is why it's so powerful to always have the same design size, like 4,500 by 5,400, because then you position it once where you want it. So you could say, that you're happy with this, maybe move it up a little bit. And then all the time, whenever you upload always the same design size, it will always position it exactly in the same way. It will remember it. Now, if you now, for example, use a 2000 by 2000 one, it will, and if you select the template, it will still upload it, but it might only be, it might be a different size in the end. You know, this is why I recommend always have the same design size and um, basically have a different template for each design size. But obviously, if you only have one design size, you only need one template, right? Okay, so then you go apply, and then you do it for the next product. I'm not going to do this for all the products now, but I recommend you make it as large as, you know, not as large as possible. It might be a bit too large, but something around the 70%, but you need to, de you need to decide this for yourself. Here, I'm only going to show you how you can do it. Um, so this is how you can adjust very easily, actually, the design on the products. Um, you can make it, you know, make sure that it's readable and that it sticks out if people scroll through the pages. On the left-hand side, you can also um, horizontally and vertically center it, if that's what you want to do. But I always have it a little bit at the higher end and then apply. All right, so I'm not going to do this for all products, but what you do now, you go to, when you're happy with all the positioning, when you're happy with all the products, all the background colors, then you go to product templates and then you can save the selection as a template. So what we do now, we just say flying upload test, save it. And then all your, how you adjusted it on the product and all the products are saved in that template. We just wanna make sure that you now also select that template so what we're going to do is we're going to select um, if you test apply next so what you do now is you add the name the description and the tags okay but you could do that now or you can just stop and upload it with flying upload because you've created the template already okay so we could do this manually for this one but what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to put the FU test template into flying upload and then we'll, all of, we'll do all of this instead in flying upload.
Right, the first thing that I'm going to do in Flying Upload is to drag and drop this design into Flying Upload. As you can see, there is no title, description or tags in here. And it's also not been uploaded to any website, which you would see on the right hand side here. Now, the first thing we do is add the template. We go into Options, Settings, Templates, select Spreadshirt. What I do now, this was my template, but I say FU Test. Color will be black. This is default, color black, save. What I do now, put the title in. So this is what you need to do normally anyway for every design. So life is best when you are camping. <clears throat> the description And I won't put too much effort now into this. I just want to show you how the uploading works. Camp, campsite, mountains. Right, and then you select men, women, and youth, if that is what you want to upload to. But I don't think it actually has a meaning for um, Spreadshirt, but I still select them all, because in Spreadshirt you've selected your template already. And then all I need to do now is upload it. And we're going to do this now. So I'm going to upload spreadshirt.co.uk I want to upload to and I click on start and then we are going to see how this product will be uploaded. So it's already complete. As you could see, this was a very fast upload process because in the last video, when I showed you the Zazzle uploading process, it took very long because in Zazzle, it is um, the, the uploader or generally that's how the upload process works. It's putting the design onto every single product and you have to do it one by one. But in here, because we created this template and one template basically includes like over hundred products or it can do. Um, it is putting just with one upload process, it's putting the same design onto these over 100 products and you have already um, adjusted the product in this template onto each product. Uh, you've adjusted the design onto each product in the template so it doesn't need to do it manually again. So when you just assuming you select, you, you create the template in a good way. So put a lot of work in that, create a good template and always use the same size of designs then you only have to do the positioning one single time. It will never have to do that again because with a template, it is ensured that it will always be positioned and centered in the right way. So I hope the video was useful. Um, I hope you enjoy using Flying Upload. If you have further questions, let me know in the comments. I will create further videos about other um, uploading to different platforms with Flying Upload. And um, yeah, I hope you liked the video. If you did, then please smash the like button. And if you want to follow me on my print on demand journey, then subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.